Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So today is going to be kind of a day in my life in 24 hours vlog. So I'm starting this vlog on Friday afternoon and we'll finish it tomorrow on Saturday because I am hosting a blogger brunch at my apartment. <laughs> so excited. Um, yeah, I literally came up with this idea on the fly because Andrew is away this weekend and I was thinking of what I could do and our housewarming went really smoothly. So I was kind of thinking to myself like, well, why don't I just like keep having people over? I'm a good hostess actually, surprisingly, now that I know how to cook a couple of things. So yeah, I am going to head over to the grocery store now. I'll bring you with me and I am just going to bring my reusable tote bags and grab some of the basics. Um, I'm not making anything too fancy tomorrow, so I hope these girls aren't expecting anything crazy, but it's all gonna be fun. Everyone also is bringing a little something. Um, I have a bottle of champagne here already for mimosas, and I've also asked people to bring more champagne and orange juice. But anyway, I just thought it would be really fun to get people together and do a little something fun, and there's going to be a surprise for them that they don't even know about yet. Francesca wants to know if I am surprising her with the Jonas Brothers and I told her she has to come and find out, but it's obviously not the Jonas Brothers. Oh, and I have to drop my quarterly taxes in the mail, sad face. Ugh, goodbye money, it was so nice having you for a second. If you guys would be interested in me doing any kind of video about like the business side of freelancing, like quarterly taxes and business expenses and things like that, definitely let me know, cause I'm down to do it. I just need to like sit down and actually gather my thoughts. But yeah, let us head out and uh, get some food. I brought you with me, but I did not show you anything. So quick grocery haul from what I got at the grocery store. Um, eggs. Not for brunch, but just for fun. Cause I've been really good actually. I haven't been like snacking on unhealthy things lately. I feel like I've been pretty good about trying to reach for fruit or like something like a little more a little less intense than like straight up salt and vinegar chips. I feel bad now that I just showed you eggs and salt and vinegar chips, but more fun stuff is coming. Um, got some bacon. I'm secretly hoping everyone tomorrow is like, oh, I'm a vegetarian, so I feel like really didn't know that. I'll eat all the bacon. Um, I'm kidding, guys. Also not for brunch, got some prosciutto because they were right next to each other and I was like, yeah, I could make myself a prosciutto sandwich this weekend. Um, this is the granola I've been using in my yogurt each morning. Um, probably also not for brunch because Michelle and Aline said they're gonna bring some parfait ingredients, but this is the Sarah Beth's Raspberry Almond and I got this like pretty soon after we moved in, so it lasted me about two months i would say like i don't eat yogurt every day um but it was a really good granola to put on top of it so if you're looking for one and they sell cerebeths in your area then woohoo um i bought some pancake mix andrew look forward to pancakes after this brunch because i think we'll have plenty of leftover um i also bought the syrup i was kind of bummed though this is the largest syrup they have and it was four dollars and i was looking for something bigger to just like you know we're still kind of buying like a big thing of olive oil to have with us a big thing of syrup like a thing of salt or pepper like you know ingredients what am i trying to say condiments <laughs> ingredients condiments um so i wanted a bigger one but this was the biggest size that they had there are two grocery stores near us and i went to the one that's a slightly further walk so i'll have to look in the one that's Sorry, that was my laundry. But yeah, I'll have to look in the one closer to us, see if they have anything bigger for the future. Also bought chocolate chips in case anyone wants that in their pancakes, cause who wouldn't? Not for brunch. Got some more Classico vodka sauce. Classico makes my favorite pasta sauces. I got a lot of butter. Like this is one of those things that I was like, let's bulk up on the butter so I don't have to buy it for the next few months. Um, I bought hot sauce in case anyone wants it for their eggs. I don't know, I was craving it the other day and I had to use like the wing sauce we had and I was like, we really don't have hot sauce, do we? And I also bought some avocados. Um, I'm gonna leave them out overnight. Hopefully they ripen a little more and I'm hoping to make like baby avocado toast as kind of like an appetizer. So we'll see how that goes. But then eggs, bacon, and pancakes are kind of my main selling points. I'm really looking forward to this. They're coming at noon, thank God. If I had asked them to come any earlier, I probably would be up at like 5 a.m. to get ready because I always just like overstress when people are coming over. It's like that Vine, comment below if you've seen the Vine company is coming and you know what I'm talking about. If your bed's not made, it's too late now, throw it away. I could watch that video all day. It's supposed to be making fun of moms, but 
Uh, oh wow, I'm growing up. Okay, I'm gonna empty the dishwasher now because as you can see, we literally have no cups right now. That's because they're all in there. So I'm gonna empty the dishwasher and get my life in order, make some dinner and stuff, and I will pick you guys back up again probably tomorrow for brunch. So excited. So it's Saturday morning. I just did my makeup now because I think it's actually one of the easier things to do early on. It is... 9.05 and I woke up at 7.15 because my internal alarm will never ever turn off. I actually have to run out to the grocery store because I forgot to buy milk yesterday. Need milk for the pancake mix and then I'm gonna try to do whatever prep I can do, probably starting around like 11-ish. I wanna make the avocado toast like topping part at least. So just peel the avocados, mash them, salt, pepper, and lemon juice, put them on the tiny bread when they come out. Um, so hopefully I can refrigerate that in the meantime. My goal is pretty much to start cooking like right around noon so that food is hot when people are coming in. I also just realized we have an oven with one of those warming drawers in the bottom. So that is an exciting thing that I didn't even know was there. So I think the plan for right now is run to the grocery store, make my bed, clean up the living room a little bit, just like random tidying, find a playlist. I need to find a playlist too. Okay, so before I head to the grocery store, <laughs> excuse you, I just wanted to show you guys what the surprise for everyone is. So Social Sunday, a company that I work for, has donated some tote bags and each tote bag has a Social Sunday t-shirt in it. And if you don't know about Social Sunday, they are the cutest t-shirts and the softest in the entire world. Like such high quality and they always have a cute graphic message on it. So a couple of these in here are from the Empowered Women collection. There's a couple from their summer collection. Um, and I also have a discount code for them, which is always down in the description box. So you can click through on that and save yourself 20% if you shop through them. Um, this was not sponsored or anything. Sam and I were just talking and she was like, do you need something for your blogger brunch? And I was like, what do you mean something? So I had her put together these goodie bags. So thank you again, Sam and Social Sunday for donating these. I know that they're gonna love them. And then in each bag also, everyone has a fashion accessory of some kind. So fun trick, wait, can we just, <laughs> I never thought I'd be sharing any cooking tips on here, but for real, fun tip, you can put the pits back in it to kind of keep it as fresh as possible if you're just gonna, you know, like if you wanna make guac in advance or if you're doing something like this, um, put it in the refrigerator and it helps keep it green and not get gross. And I'm also gonna link this thing that my mom got me down below. It's like an all-in-one avocado thing. So you use the blade to cut and I know it looks scary, but I've never, been close to cutting myself with this. Then you squeeze this to take the pit out and then you use this to scoop it. So it's like an all-in-one thing if you use avocados. Kind of genius, thank you, mom. Just pulled my hair back so that I'm not like playing with it in my face when I'm cooking, but just wanted to show you. So I'm cutting up the toast into like baby pieces of toast. Um, I'm sure I'm not the first person to invent this, but I haven't actually seen it recently, but I'm gonna make like bite-sized avocado toast bites as an appetizer. And then I'm doing a bunch of scrambled eggs, tons of pancakes, and some bacon, and that's pretty much everything. So I can't wait for everyone to start to get here. I took a video of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> When you give an 11 year old a, your vlog the camera, camera? Don't know the sign hostess that, but with the I mostess. Yes. <laughs> We now are off to 
to shoot some pics by the waterfront. We've had our fill of pancakes, eggs, etc. So we're very excited. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> it's just on this, so I'm just <laughs> tilting it. Not the tripod. I'm <laughs> like my depth perception was all motion. Francesca, how you doing? Uh, doing pretty good. Are you sad that the surprise was not the Jonas Brothers? I'm sad about it, but it was really cute. And honestly, if the Jonas Brothers were in my presence, I think hell would ensue, so. <laughs> Guys, look, it's Michelle and Aline together in New York. How exciting. Their channel will be linked below. <laughs> Aline, how are you liking New York so far? Uh, but now that you're back. It's great. It is all I hoped it could be and more. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, I have a question for you. What are you wearing? Where's the dress from? Oh, this dress is from our outfitters I got it last year. <gasps> Cutie! And these are Target sandals. And these are also from Urban Outfitters. Wow, nailed it. She's an urban girl. <laughs> what are you wearing? I feel like you have a free people top. No? It is free people from Goodwill. Oh my god, yes, because I used to work there so I can identify a free people silhouette <laughs> when I see one. <laughs> Reformation. Cute. Yeah. Boots. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> what's what's the general? M Jemmy. M Jemmy. M Jemmy. That's what I've been calling it. M Can't confirm if that's correct Can't or not. <laughs> not Italian. So I am, and I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so it's now Sunday. Um, brunch yesterday went so well. I had so much fun with everyone. Um, thank you all to all my friends who came and so glad we got to spend a gorgeous day together. So yeah, they obviously like love the gift bags as you could tell and we went out and shot photos by the water and then Francesca and Erin ended up like staying for dinner and stuff too. I think they left at like 10 30 or something um, and we watched The Good Place, which if I haven't recommended The Good Place on my YouTube channel yet, or if you've watched it, like, can you DM me so we can talk about it? Um, I'm at Austin to Zone on Instagram. I'm literally obsessed with it and have now rewatched the entire first season. So that is my obsession level. Whenever I rewatch something, you know I love it. And yeah, so I got up this morning, got a bagel, and have kind of just been taking it easy. But I just pulled out my Crazy Creek chair and my beach blanket, and I think I'm going to go out by the waterfront and read my book because it's a really nice day. So just gonna grab a water bottle and some sunscreen and that's pretty much my plan for the rest of the day. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, I would love for you to become one. I'm trying to hit 1500 subscribers by the end of June, so we'll see if I hit my goal. And otherwise, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every Monday and Friday. Hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.